unbelievable to see what happened in court, but I want to take you back to Friday morning where this alleged rant happened at Temple Bethel behind me here in Bloomfield Township along Telegraph. Cut to three days later when 35-year-old Hassan Shukur was in court this afternoon. The judge setting a $1 million cash bond. That's when things really started to get heated. You will not see heaven, and you will be doomed to hell, and you will see my words are true. An out-of-control court hearing Monday where Hassan Shukur hurled anti-Semitic remarks at a Bloomfield Township magistrate. You may only, thank you, let the record reflect that you just gave the court the finger. Yes, I did. And let God your go. He's coming for all of you. The 35 year old from Dearborn charged with two counts of ethnic intimidation following another hate filled rant outside of a Bloomfield Township daycare at a synagogue, Temple Bethel, on Friday. Video he posted on his Instagram page after he was pulled over near the synagogue. I just was going in there. I was, I was asking the people if they support the state of Israel. And they were saying, yeah. They called on you. And I was saying, how could you do that? In the 23 years that I've been in this job, I've never heard s such vulgar language directed at people. It, it was very hard to watch. At that point, Bloomfield Township Police Chief James Gallagher says the evidence they had did not meet the threshold to arrest Shukur on ethnic intimidation. After his run in with police, he posted a video of himself trying to buy a gun at a Dearborn gun store. I'm going to see if I can buy some guns. Just to show you guys, they deny us our freedom. Sources tell Fox 2 throughout the day Friday, investigators kept close tabs on him while they continued to gather additional evidence. The ethnic intimidation has to have some type of act with the, the, the verbiage, uh, some type where the, where the individual feels threatened based on the, the statements that the individual is making. Additional evidence uncovered later by police came in the form of a video Shukur posted on his social media, intimidating parents dropping their daycare aged kids off and security guards at Temple Bethel. He was arrested Saturday morning. Bond is $1 million dollars. Um plus a GPS tether. That's cash or surety only. There is no 10%. When the alleged incident happened, Shukur was already out on a personal bond charged for assaulting a police officer in Detroit back in July 2020. That trial was set for February next year. We will have zero tolerance. We will protect any group of people against hate. Right now, security is definitely be beefed up here at Temple Bethel. There is private security monitoring the grounds, as, long, as well as Bloomfield Township police officers. The police say they are definitely ramping up patrols in this area. And, of course, synagogues in the area, in the metro Detroit area, taking note of the scary situation out here. Reporting live in Bloomfield Township, Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News. Yeah, Jess, uh, just an outrageous day in court. A little bit about the ethnic intimidation charge itself. I know you said at one point the Bloomfield Township police didn't have what it took to meet the threshold to, to actually find that him to be, you know, culpable for that. What made that happen, do you think? Well, you know, before that arrest or while it was going on, they were interviewing witnesses here who saw what actually happened. They had to get those uh, that evidence and that statements together. And then the real key piece of evidence was uh, Shukur's own video posted on Instagram. It took cops a few hours to find that evidence to really piece it together. Then they had enough to take it to the prosecutor within 12 hours of the alleged incident out here. They moved quickly. Jessica Dupnek for us live. Thank you.